All right, boys and girls, here's a little help with these challenging hyperbola questions. Look at 17. It doesn't look anything like the ones from above. It's not in standard form. Standard form is uh, if x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. And if we wanted to find C, oh, hold on, Drew, I already messed something up. This is not a plus. This is a minus because we're dealing with hyperbolas. Now, here's my little trick. If we, if we want to find C, you do the opposite of whatever this signal is. So in this case, in a hyperbola, it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And in in an ellipse, Drew, if that was a positive there, then that would be a negative there. So that's just like a little hint that I remember to help. Okay? So we need the right side to be 1. So we want to divide everything by 144. I like to show... I like to show this calculator trick for people that might have a hard time simplifying fractions. If I wanted to do 4 over 144 and get that as a simplified fraction, oh no, hold oh no, on, I got it. Oh, come on, what happened? Hold on, Drew. Okay, the best way that, it, there's two ways to do this. The best way, I think, is, and you're going to use this same feature a lot, alpha y equals enter. If you just type in 4 divided by 144, It'll simplify it for you, okay? 1 over 36. So now, that's going to be, I'll carry this on right over here. Y squared over 36 minus, now let's figure out what 36 over 144 is. So come over here, alpha Y equals enter, uh, 36 on top, 144 on bottom, and you get so that's going to be minus x squared over 4 equals 1, okay? So now, I know that a squared is 36 and b squared is 4. So to find my foci, I would do 36 plus 4 is c squared 40 is c squared c is plus or minus radical 40 okay now radical 40 that's 4 times 10 the square root of 4 is 2 so they're going to want that as 2 radical 10 but i want you to know on your test drew i don't care if you leave it like radical 40 okay now, I'm telling you right now, I don't think you should do this without sketching a picture. It's just too hard to visualize it. So, about sketching the picture. The center of yours is at 0, 0. And that's because, if you notice here, there is no H and no K. So, the H and the K are 0 and 0. Okay? Um this is going to open up in the y direction because the y is positive. So at negative 6 and positive 6, those are going to be our vertices. Okay. Now, our foci is radical 40. Now, notice radical 40 is a bigger number than 6. It's how far they are from the center. So the foci would be here and here. And actually, this is why I don't love simplifying radicals. Because I think someone who's good with numbers like you, Drew, would know that like the square root of 40 is bigger than 6. Because you know that the square root of 36 is 6. But I don't know that you would necessarily know that 2 radical 10 is bigger than 6. But anyway, those are those points. So your foci are going to be negative 2 radical 10, comma 0, and positive 2 radical 10, 
comma zero. And that's how you find the foci. Okay. Now, as far as our like sketching it on a graph, I would highly recommend you use your apps for that. But if we weren't allowed, then we would just say that our slope of our asymptotes, well, another way you can think of this is, see how that's a four? That means that our B is gonna be a two. And what Mr. Crow has showed me is if you make a little box out of, out of your vertices, oh, I went too far. And then if you just draw the diagonals of that box, that's exactly what your asymptotes are. So then if I wanted to sketch this graph, it would look like this. But I'd also, I will definitely show you how to use your apps, your Conics app to do that. So that's kind of everything. This is about as hard as it could get. Asking you about the foci, it's a hyperbola. Oh no, that's the X direction, Drew. Time out, time out. I, sh I didn't listen to my own advice. I need, these are supposed to be in the Y direction. So everything is still the same. The asymptotes are still the same, but my foci is wrong. The foci is gonna go up and down and it should go up and down six. So I don't know how I'm gonna, I got I to gotta delete this. Sorry, 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 sorry. Since the Y is positive, the Y is up down. I don't know what I was thinking. So that means our, our vertices are gonna be at zero comma six and zero comma negative six. Okay, and then our foci will be at zero comma um, two radical 10 and at zero comma negative two radical 10. Our box is gonna look like this. There's our asymptotes. And the, the hyperbola will look like that. Okay? So remember that the foci are always on the inside of the shapes. So since our shapes are opening up and down, our foci are on the inside of that. Okay? If you had an ellipse and it was facing right and left, your foci would be on the inside of that ellipse. So I'll try to help you with that, okay? Good job.